a Captain Trader back with you again for another edition of Trade Stock Charts for TradeStockCharts.com. Um, I know I've been away for a while, and I know I keep saying I'm going to do these videos more frequently, and I haven't, so I am a liar. I apologize for that, um, but man, I've been you know I've been meaning to. It's just time, trading, and life kind of gets in the way. So anyway, I had time to to whip one up right now, so we're going to do that. We're going to step into video 11. This video 11, we're going to talk about moving averages. I do not know if we will get this covered all in one video or not. It depends on how much gabbing I do. Okay, so if not, I will as soon as I can do a video two on this. Okay, video. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, moving averages. As I said, moving averages are simply that. They're an average uh, of stock prices. Okay, now they're called period. So if you look at this chart in front of us right here, and you see this dark blue line right here. This dark blue line is a 200 period moving average. Now, why do we call it period? Because it can be used in any time frame. Here in this case, we're using it on a daily chart. So it's a 200 daily moving average. But you can use it on a 60 minute, a, a two hour, a five minute chart, whatever. For the 200 candles before that, it'll take the average and make a line. Okay. Now, in this case, I'm using a simple moving average. A simple moving average is simply takes the average of the last 200 closes. Okay, not the opens, not the middles, not the average. There's other moving averages that do that. For now, we're just going to talk about simple moving averages. Uh, for 90% of what I do, I use a simple moving averages. I have experimented with exponential moving averages, and I have used them for certain things. But for most of what you can do, for most of what we're going to be doing, a simple moving average is simply the best. Okay? So, the simple moving average is the close. The average is the close. We call it a period because I can change this chart to a 60 minute chart and it'll do the last 60 candles, the closing price of the last 60 candles gives us an average. Now, what are we using for? Why do we care? Well, moving averages give us, in my opinion, three things. One, they can help you identify trends. Okay? Two, they can give you uh, support and resistance. Um, signals, support and resistance zones, support and resistance areas. Okay? And three, uh, for more complex trading and for some trading systems and I use them for this quite a bit um, buy and sell signals okay um, meaning areas to buy and areas to sell okay all this it, it, these simple lines can do that so let's start learning about them a little bit the chart we have in front of you is MOT Motorola and just pick one out of the whatever this is a good moving chart I like it uh, you can see this stock moves around a lot, okay, currently at $7.15, a high in $99,257. Uh, Been great to short it back then, but how would we know that? Well, I'm going to show you. Okay, let's zoom in here back in the 90s, just for fun, okay? How do we use this to identify trends? That's the first one I talk about. Well, the first thing you do is just look at the line, okay? Right here it's moving up, right here it's moving down, right here it starts moving up again. Yay, there's a trend. We can see what it's doing because we can look at the moving average and see. If we didn't have these candlesticks on here, and just look at this chart with just that line on there, you could see when it's moving up, when it's moving down, when it's doing moving sideways. Remember, it takes 200, in this case, it takes 200 periods into account. So it's going to move quite slow. Okay? So the 200 period average uh, doesn't come into play uh, very often, but when it does, it should be heated. Okay? So. Another good way to tell the trends on this, and the way most people do these on moving averages of any size, is if the stock price is above it, generally you're in an uptrend area. Okay. If the stock price is below it, generally you're in a downtrend area. Now, more importantly, when the stock price goes above it <clears throat> and when the stock price goes below it, those are the areas you're going to look for. Remember the buy and sell signals? That's the basic buy and sell signal. Okay, so let's take this day here, 92 in February. You can see the moves above the 200 moving average. If I zoom in on it, you can see right here, this comes down and moves below it. All right, then it comes back up, moves above it, moves below it, moves above it. So it's basically a sideways moving thing, and then finally moves above it in a nice big candle and keeps on going. Okay, that says, okay, we are in an uptrend. Things are moving up. And it keeps going up. It takes out these highs over here, and it keeps going up. Okay, so now we're above the 200 period moving average. We are in an uptrend. We are in a strong market. And look at it stays above there quite a ways. And it comes back, comes back, comes back, and touches. Now, so let's talk about support and resistance. Remember, I use them for support and resistance. The 200 period moving average is such a long average that 
Um, it, it offers strong support generally and strong resistance. Generally, it will not be taken out the first time. Okay, generally. Like I said, everything I ever talk about is general. So generally, it will not be taken out the first time. So look here. Finally, things are changing. We can see this is clearly moving down, clearly going down. We're going, oh, it's going to take out the 200 moving average. And it does. It takes it out, but not for long. It crosses beneath, and then boom, it's right back above it. Okay? Well, we're going to try again. So this time it tries again. And if we zoom in a little bit more, you can see how clearly it offered some support here. Okay? So it gave a little bit of support. It's not perfect. It's 200 periods, so it's not going to be right on the line. Here it gave some support and bounced right back off it again. Generally, what I like to look for is a third or fourth time for the break, okay? And look it. So here's our third time. Another test. It offered support. Bounced up. And then, boom, finally took it out. Boom. Took it out. Okay, so now we have lost our uptrend. We have changed sentiment. This has become bearish for this stock using the 200, moding, 200 moving average. We have become, now become bearish for this stock. So now we're looking for, instead of support, resistance. Well, I'll be darned. Look what happens right away. Resistance. Cannot break through. Hits right up by the 200. Drops. We're going to try again. Resistance. Drops. Okay, third time's a charm, right? Boom. It's busted through on a huge, big candle day, which is about normal. A couple resistance spots and takes back off again. Now, um, from experience and stuff, uh, when I see these many changes and crosses above it, this is just a side note. I wouldn't be too excited about it. In fact, I don't know what happens over to the right of this chart right now. I haven't studied it. I mean, I just, like I said, I pulled one up. But if I were to guess, just looking at this, not knowing the market conditions or anything like that, I would say this line's going to get taken out quickly again. Okay? For one, you can see the line's coming up. You can see the line's flattened out. You can see it's trending up a little bit here. But the fact that it's got taken out um, and touched so many times so quickly, sentiment is changing. We're making a top here okay that'd be my guess so it bounced off again support boom we're now we're bullish we took it out again um, took it out again with this whole mess I'd call this one takeout I think we're gonna take it out again because we didn't go all the way down so I'd be looking for another takeout and look at retest here's our takeout things are changing it took about a year but things are clearly changing you can see we're starting to spend more time beneath it the trend has changed okay you can see the line is coming down you can see we're spending more time beneath it you can see resistance <coughs> pardon me resistance some support here support here and look how we broke it I'll get into this someday but look at this gap how we broke that uh, that's key when you see something like that it's probably going to be strong we're going back above it back above it offer support now remember Remember, it's easier to get above it now because why? It takes 200 moving average, right? Look at these lows here. Look at these lows over here. So this is going to help drag this line down. Those numbers, all those are going to be coming into play. They're going to drag this down. And boom, there it goes down. Now we got some highs. It's going to drag this higher. As it drags it higher, it's going to be easier to get underneath it, and which we do. And here we go. We have a nice long downtime underneath it with a look at that retest. Coming down, coming down, coming down, moving on down, moving on down. Here's the break above it. Offer support right away. And this looks good. Strong takeoff. <clears throat> it took off like crazy. And there it goes. Now we're testing it. Going beneath it again. Sell signals. Time to sell. So anyway, that's just the 200 moving average. Okay, that's one line. You can go with multiple time frames. And we'll talk about some more time frames when I do the next one. But currently, let's look at the current situation on Motorola. And this isn't one I follow a lot. I'll do technical analysis on it once in a while. But let's look at it right here. Okay, so right here uh, in April, we busted up above it. Hung around it pretty good. We busted up. Strong move. You see it's moving down. Now it trends back up. It's kind of flattening. We took it out with a gap bumming down I would expect us to retest this and then drop again that's what I would be looking for that's how I would use the 200 period moving average okay so that's one moving average we didn't even get close to finishing what I wanted to talk about that's one moving average uh, next video we're going to talk about several more of them okay so anyway study your moving averages understand them know that almost every trader uses them so this would be the AK option trader signing off trade well and prosper Oh, 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 oh